So in this video, I'll take you to the engine room of a oil and chemical tanker ship and try to show all the important equipments of engine room. Hi, what's up guys? Mahabub here from the channel Mariner Mahabub. In this channel, I used to make the maritime videos and tutorials. So if you are a maritime fan and not yet subscribe my channel, consider subscribing. Well, so many of you already requested me to show the engine room of a oil and chemical tanker ship. So today I'll take a tour to the engine room of my present ship, which is a oil and chemical tanker ship of 11,000 deadweight. In this video, my engineer friend Onik will show me the engine room, who is a regular article writer in Marine Wiki. For your information, Marine Wiki is a very good website for seafarers. I already put the website link in the description below so that you can check it out. As you guys already know that oil and chemical tanker ship are not that much large as like as uh, VLCC or ULCC. So you can keep this short disclaimer in your mind. Without any further delay, let's go to engine room. Let's go to engine room. Now we are in bottom floor. Bottom floor we have our main engine. This is a four stroke medium speed engine of 3300 kilowatt and 600 rpm main engine rpm get reduced to one fourth by gearbox which is attached with the main engine crankshaft and after that we have our propeller the bottom floor the platform downside is our tank top below that we have double bottom tanks to store fuel well and for storage of bilge sludge in the main engine platform we also have lube oil purifier for main engine then we have well water separator every well tanker of 150 grt and above shall be provided with a class approved well water separator for machinery well bilge water here also we have gs pump bilge pump fire pump main engine and auxiliary engine seawater cooling pump, boiler condenser pump, AC cooling pump, MGO and HFO transfer pump. We have two switches, high switches and low switches. High switches is in the port side and starboard side is the low switches. Normally when yellow water at port or anchorage we use our high switches to avoid suction of mud or any other dirty water. Now we are in second platform. Here we can see generators. At home we get the power supply from the power plant, but on board ship we get power supply from the generator. This ship have three generators of 450 kilowatts to meet all the power requirements. Near the generator we have fresh water hydrofoil tank, hot water hydrofoil tank, sterilizer, and purifier. Purifier is used to purify the heavy fuel oil to get rid of contaminants like water and solid particles. Here you can see generator FO supply unit. Near that we have main air compressors and main air bottles to start the main engine and auxiliary engine. Compressed air is also used for service air. In oil chemical tanker ships, Framo cargo pumping system is the most popular system. These are the three power pack control panels and these are the three electrically driven hydraulic motors to run the cargo pumps on deck which is controlled from the CCR. Now we are going to steering gear room. During autopilot, steering gear receives the order from the bridge and turns the rudder to the desired angle and gives the feedback to the bridge con. Here we also have gyro repeater, rudder angle indicator, emergency steering knob and wheel, auto telephone, battery-less telephone. In this ship, water mist fire extinguisher system is located inside the steering gear room. In the second floor, we also have fresh water generator. 
fresh water generator is used on board a ship to produce fresh water from sea water for regular domestic use and in front of fresh water generator we have sewage treatment plant on board ship sewage should be treated before going overboard through sewage treatment plant besides sewage it is tank cleaning heater which is used to heat sea water or fresh water for tank cleaning purposes now we are in the upper platform Here you can see the incinerator. Incinerator is a machinery in which we burn all types of waste generated on the ship like uh, the waste oil from oily water separator, oily racks, sometimes galley waste and of course in special incinerator plastic waste too. Here you can see the incinerator control panel. Here it's the burner. Also see the incinerator pump. This is the waste oil tank where we transfer the well, evaporate the water and uh, burn out through the incinerator. Here is the boiler, boiler burner, boiler control panel. Here have so many indicators showing which one is running and uh, which one is not running. Adjust boiler control panel. When main engine running, it will also be running. Here this is our store room. Inside have another spare store room. This is our engine room workshop. All the hot work fixing a different type of machinery I used to done here. Another spare part room. These are the different band pipe from different tanks. And this is our main engine expansion tank. Main engine preheater. And this is a stern tube safety tank. Here we have our BA compressor. Mooring winch number one and number two power supply unit. Here we installed all the extra fire extinguishers. This is our foam room, foam liquid tank for the deck foam system, pump proportioner. This is one of the fixed fire extinguishing system is to be installed for extinguishing fire on deck on chemical product and uh, oil tankers with low expansion foam as regulated by SOLAS IBC code. From here we can check the foam level of foam tank. Now we are in the engine control room. Inshallah, I will make another video about engine control room. I don't want to make this video very long. So if you like the video, please like and uh, share this video with your friends. And to get the notification for future video, please press the bell icon and of course subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bon voyage. Happy sailing.